IceCap just released the brand new 1K skimmer line. Stay tuned to learn more. Hello, this is Jeremy from CoralView. Welcome you back to another episode of CVTV. Today we are going to cover the basic essentials of how to assemble, set up, and operate your new IceCap 1K protein skimmer. The IceCap 1K series is a remarkable compact skimmer that offers many of the features found in higher price skimmers. The 1K skimmers were designed around providing proper filtration without sacrificing valuable sump space or performance. Master crafted from robust PVC and high quality acrylic, these skimmers are built to last. All components are marine safe and refined in every aspect providing the latest enhancements in foam refractionation. The skimmer's elegant beer bottle curved body naturally stabilizes air and water mix and gently uplifts organics to the surface of the foam for collection. The skimmers feature an impressive compact footprint making it ideal for tight sump applications. Let's not forget to mention that the skimmers disassemble completely for easy service. At the core of the IceCap 1K skimmers, you'll find the new EV Air Pinwheel Skimmer Pump that provides efficient and reliable performance. The K1's output control offers trouble-free fine-tuning and quiet operation. The pipeless design not only saves on space, but also allows for the outgoing water to exit from the bottom of the skimmer and below the water surface, providing a splash-free discharge. The IceCap 1K skimmers are now available in four models. The K1 Nano, perfect for aquariums ranging between 10 and 30 gallons, which we'll cover in detail in a future video. The K1 130 can handle aquariums between 80 and 140 gallons. The K1 160, ideal for aquariums between 120 and 200 gallons. And the K1 200, capable of filtering aquariums between 180 and 350 gallons. Before we begin, please locate, inspect, and identify all components included with your new protein skimmer. Please refer to the parts and assembly diagram located in your user guide. If you don't have it, you can always download it by visiting the link below. On a stable surface, place a towel or something to prevent any scratches while assembling. In order to remove the skimmer body from its base, we must remove the two screws on the stabilizer for the output handle and loosen the four screws along the four corners of the base of the skimmer. Twist counterclockwise and lift off. Slide the pump into the corresponding grooves of the pump mount already installed at the base of the skimmer. With the top of the diffusion chamber removed, place the output of the pump through the hole at the bottom plate. Thread in the output adapter and secure the chamber to the output of the pump. Place the top of the chamber and thread in the screw and be careful not to over tighten. Line up the skimmer body with the intake of the skimmer pump and match the screws on the base with the larger holes on the rim of the skimmer body. Twist so that the two rims line up making a perfect square. Tighten all thumb screws securing the base to the skimmer body. Insert the air venturi through the hole that is lined up with the intake of the skimmer pump. Slip the air line over the large barb off of the venturi. Next, simply place the bottom stem of the silencer into the hole of the bracket and install the air line to secure it in place. Carefully install the skimmer in the sump at the suggested water depth. Place the collection cup with lid on top of the rim of the skimmer body. The collection cup comes with a drain if you wish to run the skimmit to a collection container. To do this, remove the blue retainer clip by pulling outward. Press the slip ring towards the drain fitting while pulling the plug outwards. Insert the drain hose adapter into the drain elbow and attach the drain hose. With the output valve completely open, plug the pump's power plug into the electrical socket. To tune the skimmer to your aquarium, 
simply close the output valve by turning it counterclockwise until you retain a pea-sized bubbles at the point where the collection cup mounts to the skimmer body. Allow the skimmer to acclimate to the new setting for 24 hours or more before further adjustments. The more closed the output valve becomes, the wetter the waste collection will become. Warning: Do not attempt to dial in the protein skimmer any sooner than two weeks. You must allow the skimmer to break in prior to tuning it. It is common for a skimmer not to fully break in for four weeks. During this time, skimmer's performance can be unpredictable. We suggest that you remove the pump every four to six months to be cleaned and inspect the impeller for wear or damage. Here are some answers to some commonly asked questions. I installed the skimmer and it overflows even with the output fully open. Is this because it's breaking in? An overflowing skimmer can be a number of things, but breaking in is not one of them. First thing, I would suggest to make sure that the skimmer is installed at the recommended depth and nothing is obstructing the skimmer's output. If the skimmer continues to overflow, then the most likely culprit of the overflow is the water itself. Very high nutrient, cycling tanks, frag putty, dechlorinators, certain foods, and or medications to list a few. The solution is to do multiple water changes and to use fresh activated carbon in a high flow area of the sump, filter, or reactor. Change the carbon out every three to five days until the skimmer can operate without overflowing. My skimmer is working, but I can't get it to collect anything. Is the skimmer broken? It is normal to have inconsistent or no skimmick collection during the first three to four weeks of operation. Also, it is very important to make sure that the skimmer is also properly sized for your system. My skimmer is very noisy. Is my pump damaged or is this what I should expect? Both pump noise and air suction will be louder than normal during the break-in period, which can last three to four weeks. If you hear a grinding noise or anything considered irregular, please remove the pump from operation and inspect the propeller for any obstruction. If you'd like to learn more about the IceCap K1 protein skimmers, including detailed specs, beautiful high-quality pictures, and replacement parts, head on over to CoralView.com. If you have any questions or issues with our product, don't hesitate to visit our support portal at qualfeed.com forward slash support. Our friendly support reps are eager to help you with any questions or issues you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest product reviews and tutorial videos. To subscribe, just click on the small icon right there. Yes, right there. You can also follow us on Twitter at CoralView and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Coralview Aquarium Products.